Jerry Lewis was born on March 16, 1926, in Newark. His name at birth was Joseph Levitch. His father, Daniel, was an actor and master of ceremonies who performed under the name Danny Lewis. His mother, Rachel, was a piano player for the New York City radio station. He started performing along with his parents when he was five years old. He dropped out of the Irvington High School to pursue a career as a full-time entertainer and started using the stage name Jerry Lewis. He developed a comedic routine called The Record Act, in which he mimed the lyrics of popular songs while a phonograph played the songs off stage, He was given a chance to perform at a burlesque house which flopped. Unable to get any more shows, he worked at odd jobs to make ends meet. His father's friend, Max Coleman, helped him book a performance at Brown's Hotel in New York. This time, his show was a big success and motivated him to further his career in this field. While performing at nightclubs in 1945, he met a singer, Dean Martin. This meeting proved to be fortuitous and the two went on to form the comedic pair Martin and Lewis in 1946. Their initial routine consisted of Martin singing a song which Lewis interrupted with ad-libbed insults. Lewis played the comedian while Martin served as the straight man. The pair developed a routine characterized by ad-libbing and impromptu jokes instead of planned rehearsals. By the late 1940s, the pair had a prominent national presence. The duo made many appearances on early live television in 1948 making their debut on Ed Sullivan's Toast of the Town. The very next year, they had their own regular radio show called The Martin and Lewis Show. Paramount producer Hal Wallace had seen them in performance and was quite impressed by them. He booked them to a film contract and Lewis and Martin made their big screen debut with My Friend Irma in 1949. Together they starred in 16 films, including At War with the Army, 1950, Living It Up, 1954, and You're Never Too Young, 1955, most of which became extremely popular. The famous duo also continued appearing on radio and television. Over the years, their relationship became strained and their partnership ended in 1956. Hollywood or Bust, 1956, was their last movie together. After ending their partnership, both the comedians embarked on solo careers. Lewis appeared in his first film without Martin in 1957. The movie, titled The Delicate Delinquent, was a big hit and gave him the confidence to move on as a solo artist. He turned director with the 1960 film The Bell Boy, which he also wrote and starred in. Over the next three decades, he directed and acted in several films like The Nutty Professor, 1963, The Big Mouth, 1967, One More Time, 1970, and Cracking Up, 1983. He has also made several appearances on stage. He made his Broadway debut as a replacement cast member in the revival of the baseball musical Damn Yankees in 1994. Apart from the US, he is also a much respected artist all over Europe. In 1983, Mr. Lewis married Sandy Pitnick, and in 1992, their daughter, Danielle Sarah, was born. Besides his wife and daughter, survivors include his sons, Christopher, Scott, Gary, and Anthony,
received the Jean Hersholt Humanitarian Award for his charitable activity in 2009. His many other honors included two stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, one for his movie work, the other for television, and an induction into the Légion d'honneur, awarded by the French government in 2006. In 2015, the Library of Congress announced that it had acquired Mr. Lewis's personal archives. In a statement, he said, Knowing that the Library of Congress was interested in acquiring my life's work was one of the biggest thrills of my life. Mr. Lewis was officially recognized as a towering figure in cinema at the 2013 Cannes Film Festival. The festival's tribute to him included the screening of a preliminary cut of Max Rose, Mr. Lewis's first movie in almost 20 years, in which he starred as a recently widowed jazz pianist in search of answers about his past. The film did not have its United States premiere until 2016, when it was shown as part of a Lewis tribute at the Museum of Modern Art. Also in 2016, he appeared briefly as the father of Nicolas Cage's character in the crime drama, The Trust. Lewis died at his home in Las Vegas, Nevada on August 20th, 2017, at the age of 91. The cause was end-stage cardiac disease and peripheral artery disease. In his will, Lewis left his estate to his second wife of 34 years, Sandy Pitnick, and their daughter, and intentionally excluded his children from his first marriage, as well as their descendants.